Welcome back everybody. We are live here again today from the Coastal Seafoods Production Kitchen and you got a fun new thing to talk about. You may have seen us posting a little bit about this over the last few days, but today I'm going to kind of show you what it's all about and talk you through what we're doing. Uh, today we're talking dry aged fish, which is a really neat thing. Uh, it's kind of one of those old school things that we're trying to make a little new school again. So I'm gonna give people a few minutes to kind of tune in, and then we're gonna talk through this beautiful fish. What I have here is I've got a whole dry aged yellowtail snapper, which is really beautiful, and then I have some of the fillets off of another dry aged fish. Uh, these fish were both aged for the same amount of time, which is actually 11 days. Uh, so what that means, let me just show you what we're looking at here. So you can see the fish, and you can see how dry it is. Now this fish has already been scaled and cleaned super thoroughly. Uh, so what we do is we actually scale these with a knife manually to remove all of the scales and then we scrub it out very, very, very thoroughly in order to remove any impurities from the fish. And then it hangs in our temperature controlled cooler for kind of however much time we want to do that for. So this is a beautiful yellow tail snapper and again you can see it's very dry and again this has already been scaled yet that color still really pops out and you can see even the eye looks nice and fresh like everything looks very very beautiful on this fish still um, and again that's just because of the cleaning and the aging process um, being given that it's not exposed to water or extra moisture all of that is allowed to sort of dry naturally and and the result is very very nice very firm flesh fish uh, which is going to be great to cook show you the filet that we're looking at here. You can see that how dry the skin is here, which means this is gonna get really nice and crispy when we cook it, which is exactly what we want to have happen. Again, absolutely beautiful. And you can see the color of the flesh. It's a, almost this opaque pink color. Uh, you can see it looks very, very dry, but when it cooks, it's very, very moist and you get a really nice flaky product. So it's kind of like dry aging beef where what we're doing is we're allowing that moisture to escape the filet in order to condense the flavor in the fish and get a more firm texture. So this is gonna be really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my pan started here. And we're just gonna simply pan roast these and get that skin all just super nice and crisp. Uh, and I'm gonna weight it down because what happens is when the skin gets this dry, it kind of wants to curl up on you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weight this down uh, nice and heavy so that it lays flat on that pan, which is gonna allow that skin to get golden brown and really crisp, which is exactly what we're looking to do. Uh, this is a really delicious way to eat fish. Uh, and it's something we've been experimenting with over the past several weeks. And we've had some really great result results. We've got a lot of different fish that we're doing this with right now, including the Copper River King salmon that we had in earlier this week. So we're gonna have a lot of fun stuff available for the weekend, which is why we wanted to kind of show this off to you now. So what I'm gonna do, my pan's heating. I'm gonna add just a little bit of vegetable oil to the pan. I don't need a ton here, just enough to help prevent the fish from sticking. And I'm gonna take these fillets just kind of as they are, and I'm gonna just lay them down in the pan away from it. And you can see it want to bind up right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that fillet down and press to let that skin start to sear. I'm gonna do the same thing with my other fillet. And I just wanna press this down for, you know, about 30 seconds or so to keep it nice and flat. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got another pan here that I'm gonna to use to weight these fillets down. And I've got a big old can of tomatoes that I'm gonna set right on top. And that's gonna hold that fish nice and flat. Now you can get, they make fish weights and stuff for exactly this kind of thing that you can get. If you don't have something like that, this kind of setup will work just fine. Again, the idea is to press that fish flat in the pan so that skin can really get nice and crisp. And we're gonna cook this fish almost exclusively on one side. I'm gonna flip it at the end just to finish it off. Um, but very simply, it's gonna be mostly a one side cook. 
So I'm gonna move this fish out of the way now so we can get our stuff ready to finish. This won't take too long to cook, but you can hear it sort of crackling away. I can see the edges starting to get nice and golden brown, which is exactly what I wanna have happen. And then I will check it in just a minute here. Uh, you can hear it just sort of sizzling away, frying. That skin is gonna get really crafter, crispy, which is what we want. Again, we want almost that skin to turn into like a fish cracker. It's gonna be very, 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 very nice. I can see around the edges of the skin in the pan that it's starting to golden brown, which is exactly what I wanna have happen. So at this point, I'll take a little peek here and see how we're doing. These are looking fantastic. And you can see just that beautiful golden brown color on this filet. So I'm just gonna flip it on this other side and just let it very gently finish off for about a minute or so, and we'll be good to go. So very easy to do. These are thin fillets, so they cook up pretty quickly. But you can just see how crispy that skin gets there. See if you can can't really hear it over the sizzling of the pan, but again, very, very simple, very, very easy to do. And I'm gonna finish this with just a little bit. In fact, this is good to go here. So I'll put this back onto the skin side. You can see how white the flesh of this fish is. Just beautiful and flaky, exactly what we want. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. And I started here just a little sun-dried tomato risotto. This is that Alessi brand that we carry. You've seen me use this quite a few times. And I'm just gonna warm this through and kind of finish it off. I sort of par-cooked it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it just to kind of bring it back to life here. So I'm gonna stir that and get this working again, make it nice and creamy like so. And I'm gonna add in just a little bit of fresh spinach that I've got and wilt that into the rice. And we're just gonna make just a simple little side dish. This is really more about the fish. You know, you could serve this all kinds of nice grilled vegetables, be super good. It's just a lot of different things you can do. I just wanted something simple that add a nice amount of color to our fish. This is looking good. So I'm gonna add a little knob of butter in here to kind of finish it off. Um, but very simple, and it's gonna pair really well. And a lot of people ask, again, why are we dry aging fish? Why would you do that? What are the benefits? And really, the benefits are all about that flavor and the texture, um, especially the texture. Um, it creates just a very different experience overall. Uh, and it's just a fun new thing to do. Why not experiment, have some fun, and do some neat new things. Uh, there's not many places around the country doing this right now, so it's kind of a unique thing here. Uh, I don't know anybody in the Midwest who's doing this. We've got some friends out in LA who are doing a really good job with it, which is awesome. And we've been talking very closely with them about kind of the nuances of doing this. And it's just been a fun procedure all around. All right, so I've got my spinach all nice and wilted in there. So let's go ahead, grab a plate. Oh yeah, this is looking fantastic. So I'll go ahead and spoon up some of this risotto here onto my plate like so. Perfect, turn that heat down, clean up, give the old plate wiggle, spread it out like risotto wants to do, which is great. And now, let's take these beautiful fillets, lay these right on top. like so. Let's go 
go ahead, hit it with a little bit of our favorite little yuzu oil here. Spin this around so it's out of my way a bit. I'm just giving a little bit of a drizzle. This oil is just gonna add a little bit of a citrus flavor or pop. It's gonna make it look nice and glistening. Hit it with a little fresh parsley. And we have a very beautiful dish that is gonna be jam packed full of flavor in a way that is very, very unique. So there we go. Those beautiful fillets just perfectly seared. And you just see how crispy that skin gets, which is absolutely beautiful. Super gorgeous. You got that little plate of risotto underneath there just for some added effect, but really, really nice stuff. This is a great way to eat fish. Again, uh, it's something new and we hope we'll definitely come and experiment with it because uh, it's a lot of fun. We've also got some really beautiful grouper hanging. We've got some Thai snappers hanging. Again, we've got that Copper River King hanging. Just so many different things. In fact, why don't we do something kind of fun and go on a little walk and I'll show you what we've got. So hang with me. We're going to do a little venture through the store. All masked up to stay safe as per usual. You can hear the phone ringing off the hook because we're busy. So we're just gonna go right in and we're gonna look at some of these really awesome fish. So let's see what we're looking at here. So these are the yellowtail snappers. I just cooked one of these off. These were just hung two days ago. So these are still pretty fresh and have a way to go. But you can see they're really pretty. They've all been thoroughly scaled, absolutely beautiful. And then let's check over here. We've got our Thai snappers hanging. There's a beautiful yellow edge grouper. Let's try to see if we can get in there. You can see the beautiful fin. And just look at how dry that skin is there. Really, really, really nice. And we've got quite a few hanging. We've cut some and tried some, really beautiful. But then the creme de la creme is this beautiful Copper River King salmon that we've got beautifully dried. Just really, really nice stuff. And this will be available this weekend. So if you're interested in trying this, we highly recommend coming down and getting some right away because we've only got the one fish. So it will go quick. But if there's anything better than Copper River King Salmon, it's gonna be the dried Copper River King Salmon. So we definitely hope you come check this out. These are really beautiful, cool, cool, cool fish. Again, we've got the tie snappers and the groupers. We've got some yellowtail hanging back there. So lots of cool stuff. So hopefully, You'll come down, pay us a visit this weekend, maybe try something new, uh, and get yourself hooked up with some dry aged fish. Again, it's really delicious, it's a lot of fun. We hope you try it. Again, this is kind of a fun experiment for us, so if you're a seafood fan, this is a very unique thing to try to get yourself involved with. So thanks for tuning in. Let's look at the dish one more time so you can see what we're looking at. Just look at how good that fish looks still. Absolutely beautiful. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will be back again next week with some more cool stuff, but hopefully we'll see you this weekend. Have a fun, safe Memorial Day holiday. Do some grilling, have some fun, eat well, and we will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon.